So the second lesson is related to understand the importance of specifying the sources of variability influencing our outcome measurement instruments. When we choose an outcome instrument, we want that this instrument is both valid and reliable. How validity and reliability related to each other? An instrument, uh, the best instrument is an instrument that is both valid and precise, that is measure what it means to measure in a really reliable way. But sometimes the instruments can be valid, but not precise, generated some noise, or can be very uh, precise, but completely uh, invalid because it's not measuring the target domain, or can be the worst instruments ever being not reliable and not precise which are then the challenges. The challenges in a, when we choose an instrument is that what we want to measure is just the variability related to the signal, to the manifestation of, of interest. We want to capture every change in the signal. However, we also know that the variability may affect the instruments and the variability that affect the instruments is the noise and the bias. The noise can be assimilated to a random measurement uh, error and the bias to a systematic measure and the error. One affects the variability, the reliability, and the second, the validity. What is the reliability? The reliability, according to the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary, is uh, the definition of how good is an instrument at giving at the same uh, at the same results every time it measures the same things. So in that case, as I told before, the variability due to the disease is the signal that we want to measure. However, all the noise made by a wrong machine parameters, a wrong protocol, uh, a bad machine quality, some patient factor, the, un the knowledge or the untrain of the operators are all aspects that should be minimized in order to go directly to the truth. And if we look at the validity, so the ability to measure what it has to be measured according to OMERACT, what can affect this measurement? First, bias definition of our target domain. Second, a biased equipment, an equipment that is unable to measure our uh, target domain, and also biased observer, they don't know the target domain. Therefore, what it is really important when you apply your FISA to imaging instruments is to take into account a possible challenge that they are related to the source of variability uh, of the definition of what we want to measure of our target domain, and then to know how FISA should be applied to them. But for understanding the source of variability, we have first to identify them. And we have uh, um, defined at least four sources of uh, variabilities that can affect imaging outcome measurement instrument. One is related to the target domain, the second to the imaging technique chosen, the third to the reader, the observer, or the technician applying the technique, and the fourth to the patients and the disease of the patients. For example, some specific source of variability are the theoretical operational definition or the machine characteristics or the acquisition interpretation or the physical characteristic of the patients. All of these specific source of variabilities can be um, defined in form of error. And here you can see the list of systematic random error according to the source of variability. This table is giving you some example of error, some example of possible sources of variability affecting imaging instruments, but also some solution. For example, in the target domain, the use of a wrong uh, theoretical operational definition may affect the way in which the target domain is studied. So 
what is the solution is to try to improve the definition through repeated exercise. As a recap of the lesson two, uh, I would like to tell that uh, in the selection of an outcome measurement instrument, the quality of the development process of, that, of such an instrument should be critically appraised when you are using OFISA. And sources of variability should be clearly identified. We have to remind, uh, remember that noise can affect the reliability and should be minimized by proper procedures, proper training and use of repeated measurement. The bias can affect the validity, the truth, and can be minimized through the use of high quality equipment, a proper calibration of the machines, high quality definition of the target domains, target lesion under study, and the proper training in the application of the instrument.